Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy Washing, Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel, and this is me, Lavnex Custom ROM Reviews. Back with new video, guys. Statics OS version 7.7 upside down cake 460 I mean, April 16, 2024. Android version is 14 here. You guys can check out and Google Play system update January 2024. April 2024 is a security patch. Baseband version you can see. And the kernel user is 4.19.302. Arrow kernel has been used. This is the build number. And this is the typical home screen what you can get. And this is the quick settings toggles. You guys can see. In the edit section, there are few other options also. You guys can see the smoothness. It's really, really good again. And app active status can be seen from here. And the power button is from here. See the animations also. Very much cool here. What I really liked is the UI smoothness. It is really, really smooth, guys. Once you start using that, you will definitely notice what I am saying here. And this is how the home screen. And you get wallpapers and styles here. Some of the wallpapers are pre-included. Those are different here. If you go into wallpapers and style, again, lock screen customizations are there in the home screen. Again, you get some wallpapers pre-included here. As you can see, gradient colors and this one really liking the wallpapers implementation here and upgrade you get up to 5 into 5 which is cool in my opinion and this is typical home skin and app driver and what all the apps i am using let's see the results in this particular rom and starting with the geekbench score only 1298 is a single score and 3398 is a multi score and also four links 4.19.302 arrow kernel and the version is 6.2.2 and Android version 10.2.4 scores are 8,43,842 temperature is 10.2 degrees Celsius and 5 degree, five percentage of battery has been dropped a little bit warm while setting the device and running benchmarks but now it is very much cooler in my experience again uh, this one basic integrity getting passed and CTS profile match getting passed. You can use all the payment applications like phone pay, Google pay, Yono SBA, all are going to work fine. As you can see, device is also certified here and internet speed connection. I have 200 Mbps ATL fiber connection is working fine. Again, guys, some people are asking how is the 5G connectivity. And again, guys, this is me 11x having only two bands of 5G. It will be a little bit. Uh, better not a great experience in terms of 5g guys you need to keep in mind that it is having only two bands don't compare with any device and don't compare with high-end devices also for that particular thing they will get 5g but it's in limited uh, quantity i mean limited area of coverage and everything will makes difference to make you better 5g experience you keep with these things in the mind again and this is the drm information in this particular rom guys hdr 10 support is there level 1 is also certified why i have taken this is you can actually adjust the screenshot when you, once you take the screenshot i'll show you within a while and this is all the read read speed test with graphical and numericals and this is the charging slowly only it is showing but i think so it's beyond 90% and it's showing like this but charging rapidly support is there 33 watt charging support is there here and this is Dolby Atmos you get proper Google kind of Dolby Atmos now we move into settings uh, we'll move into settings now as you can see the smoothness is next level here once you start using that you will definitely feel the smoothness system again gesture you get all the gestures option is swipe to screenshot navigation mode gesture navigation simple it is it's kind of pixel experience kind of thing security and privacy again you get both fingerprint and sorry only fingerprint unlock is given not a face unlock as you can see just press just touch the fingerprint it will get unlocked and there is that wobbling effect i really liking that and that's it no face unlock here accessibility menu again you get all the options like flash notifications hearing devices and other things audio adjustment if the left stereo sound is uh, for example if you keep it left the sound will coming from this left speaker will be high here this is left this is right if you keep uh, right side this much you will get sound from this speaker high you can adjust that uh, but if you don't know keep it center and if you want to get only one audio system then you can enable mono audio this are the things you should definitely write out and again accessibility menu it's a very handy feature and i keep on telling them 
without actually using this physical buttons you can actually access the volume up and down from here which is a cool feature in my opinion let me know in the comment section guys how much people are using these accessibility settings in your custom rom location again you get all the options working fine google maps are working fine this is the volume panel what we can get here as you can see this how you will get and wallpaper and style i already explained display settings again you get all the options like dark theme once i apply that it's not in pitch black condition as of now icon manager again you get all these options night light colors again keep it boosted here and rgb strength you can adjust mode display is given here so refresh rate option is also given uh, four speak refresh rate is also given here tap to wake is given dc dimming options are also given in the qs panel too in the edit section there are some options you can check out and drag and add them with the ui is smooth definitely i'm not complaining that sound and vibration again you get all the options like me sound enhancer hi-fi audio system you can select the preset headphone type and select the scene from here a vibration and haptics again you get all the options to uh, increase or decrease the intensity of it battery again battery life is really really good here uh, nowadays i'm getting very good battery life with all the android 14 based custom roms for millions and this is one among them uh, that's fine actually thermal profiles are given battery saver is given here and again battery diagnostics you can make it out these are the things you will get in this particular rom uh, very smooth the ui experience is very much smooth i haven't faced any issues as of now if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom let me know in the comment section guys and if you're still not joined the whatsapp group for this particular mi 11x device there is a dedicated whatsapp group available from my side you can check out those links in the description provided here and also the flashing method is also given in the description check out guys if you want to still follow me on the social media you can do it out those links are also in the description and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys i'll be motivated to make the similar kind of videos it will be a lot more effort required to uh, make this kind of videos you might be looking only the output of 8 10 minutes video but for me it takes 3 to 4 hours sometimes 6 hours also to make this kind of videos with highest possible quality and very good experience and very much important result should be there in my video guys that you people should definitely appreciate that for that give it a like and support me and again if you're still not subscribed subscribe to my channel we'll see the bgma how it actually handles in this particular rom into the graphics settings again you get smooth plus extreme only no extreme plus option here no other extra features here very smooth experience in the ui and now in the gameplay we will be seeing that yeah even in the counter attacks i haven't faced any issues but it's an 60 fps gameplay guys not a 90 and if you want to use the routing and all you can do that but i don't recommend for this simple ui yeah the gaming experience is a little bit better here compared to previous version i already made the previous version video also you can check out in my channel that is fine the gaming experience Yeah, we'll come back here and what all i tell this for this rom is it's a simple ui very much similar to pixel experience only customizations are missing here if you are okay for that then it's a great great rom smooth experience i haven't faced any issues in this particular rom the experience is very much fine here if you want to use it as a deliver go ahead and flash this custom rom and use it as a daily driver guys this is sampath we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now